Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We are playing some more Civilization VI, continuing with our Pedro Didi campaign and our trapped area, which, I don't know. I'm still like 50-50 whether or not we're going to be able to survive this. Um, he is pretty scary because he's right next to us. He also has a fairly decently sized army. Uh, what's nice though about where we're at is because of you because of this wonder we're making a ton of science So we're keeping up right now in science our culture. I think was slacking if I remember correctly We're only making 11 per turn. You're at 22. You're at 16 science is 17 to 14 to 21 So we're right up there in science obviously long term. We're gonna fall behind so that we do need to fix um, Culture though is gonna be really really good in a couple turns Because uh, we're gonna finish the granary and then we're gonna throw down our Amphitheater right here, and that's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, and I think it's plus two for being next to a wonder, so I think that's going to be a plus seven theater square. So, yeah, that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. So, the poets have been mysterious. Did we finish an error recently? I'm trying to think. Yeah, and we got the inspiration, and then we get a plus for building a building with great work slots. So actually building the uh, amphitheater here is going to help too. Um, one thing that we're going to have to really rush this episode is we need to get some settlers out. I have to get a settler here. I'm probably going to go get a settler down there as well. And then we may want to look at starting to do some warfare stuff, which is where the catapult's going to come help us. Um, but let's see, what do we got? We don't need the loyalty dudes at this point. They're not doing anything for me. They're not even in the city and we're at full loyalty, so I don't care about that. So let's go ahead and grab the maintenance so we make a little extra money. Um, I don't want to purchase units. I don't want to do units. We're probably going to be a little light on military right, for the next few because I think instead we have to go... I think we have to go for settlers. But the thing is, here's the thing. I can't build any settlers for the time being. I could pop out a settler here, but I think we need a theater square first. I think I have to get a theater square. Also... We should be looking at great people constantly. Yeah, crap. Kree are going to get this before we can get it. Which is why I really want this holy site up, too. So, let's see. What's next, then? I think we knock out Theology so I can get the holy site adjacency bonus. Because what that's going to do is... I don't remember what this holy site's going to end up being. It's a 5. So, that should be a 10 holy site, then. And then our holy site here was a 3. So, it'll be 6. So... 5 plus 3 is another 8 faith per turn. I can dig. I can dig. You come over here. You grab that. Will you take this and give me money for it? Not a lot. 11. So, uh, 3, 6, 9, 120. 131. Is your max? 130, okay. You don't have any money right now, right? And you also have oranges. So he's not going to pay me anything for oranges then. I think we trade it. Oh, we could give him dyes though, right? He will take that. How much gold are you making per turn? 55. So we wait a couple turns then we can easily sell that to him i think he's gonna pay us more because he has less amenities so i think i'm okay with that next then i want you to work on that and then you're gonna come get over here so we got plus one error score nice 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 uh we got the algae going out we want to switch here that would have been very bad give me plus one production for now give me maintenance yep we do we do want to get um political philosophy but I think getting the holy site up earlier is going to be better so we can get the better adjacency. Although, then again, maybe we just grab this because this gives us more slots. It's five turns. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that one first. That'll be fine. So one turn, and then you're going to build theater square. Then we're going to start rushing out settlers nonstop. I'm glad you still have so much barbarian invasions happening because that's keeping you occupied. So I need this theater square plus seven. Boom. Heck yeah, man. Walls, everything over here is fine. I'm actually going to take you and go explore a little bit. Yeah, let's go see what's over there. I would like to get more units too, but I just, I'm going to have to risk it and go settlers hard in this game, I think. You're fine, so come back up into the city. You're going to come here to the stone. Let's put you in the city then. Get our defense up just a little bit. Shaka!
Oh, that's probably not good. Hi. Shock is gonna be a pain on Deity, man. He's gonna be a pain. Hello, dude. Hello, dude. Send delegation. Nice. You have a lot of resources, so you're unlikely to give me a lot for this. He actually was gonna give me 200. No. So let, let's compare. What's everyone gonna give me for this? 150? 180? I will take 200. I will take 190 something. So literally 199 he'll give me. Noted. Mr. Cree. 186. I wonder if I can give away two. So that's like 400 gold right there. Six eighty. How many amenities do we actually need right now? Four of two. So we actually have two extra amenities. I think. So we can actually sell off two of these then. So let's start with Shaka. Goal is to make him like me anyways. So let's make a deal. I will give you my oranges for $199. Actually, let's do open borders too. You will not give me open borders. Let's start here. And then, you wanna be friends? We could try. Open borders? You want me to pay you one gold? Uh, probably not. You will not. We need open borders with these people. Crap. And we're gonna wait another turn so you get a little more income because I think you'll pay me a little more. So then you work the stone. And then you're going to come work on the rice. Watermill is going to be really nice up here. Just FYI. Engineering is what we're currently working on. Um, we need to make sure we take you off in a couple turns because we're going to finish the great uh, the walls here. So you just forward. Ah, actually, you know what? Go explore over here. Might as well for the time being. So I think two more turns and then we take you off walls or take you off engineering. Ling is now established, so that means we need to buy the builders there from now on. If we do buy more builders, um, about two twenty. Yes, two forty. Two twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one. So it's one of these right here. 32. Sure. Okay. By the way, we should take a quick look at this. Let's look at cities. You have five cities right now. We're at four. So we're slightly behind, but not too bad. You are at four, five. So we're one behind you. You're at three. So we actually have more cities than the Kree right now. Good. So long term, we're, we're in a better position than the Kree. Um, it helped that we boxed them in, though. So we need one more turn and then we can switch off the walls. We're at 479, so we can't quite yet get ourselves a settler. 680. We might have to trade off another amenity to get that. <sighs> Dang. There's no other amenities except this die down here. Or we could just trade our amenities. Now what happens if we trade this last amenity? You're no longer going to be content, so you're going to grow a lot slower. Basically. You're already growing pretty slow. The thing is, I really want these guys to keep growing. So that's where I think I can't afford to give away... I can't afford giving away my last amenity, I don't think. The fox over there. Can we settle over here at all? Yeah. Probably not a good spot, though. Alright, a little intimidating right now. That's a lot of archers. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. Hi, Mr. Cree. Remember how we've done all this trading and stuff with you? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Please don't declare war on me. Please don't declare war on me. Oh, dies. So he's going to actually get access to resources before too long. I don't know. Politics is the art Someone of the built possible. the Apodonda. 
Cleof needs more housing. I don't know. This is interesting. It kind of looks like he might be thinking about a war. Hopefully not. You got five turns. You got four turns. We just finished political philosophy. Uh, we want... Um, I need oligarchy because I have to have the plus four combat strength against them in case they declare war. If we didn't, then we'd almost rather have classical republic for the 15 great points okay since i'm not building units and we're going so hard in the risk game we're gonna go with classical republic what government type are you he will like me because he'll have the same one classical republic your autocracy 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 <laughs> uh classical republic that'll make both of them like me a little bit more we're not gonna get um i still want that i think uh we want plus two influence You're up four turns, you're at six turns. This is six turns. I think we need to keep the production one on. I think we go with the settler one, because we will grab that in a couple turns. Uh, then plus two influence points. Because if we can get one of those guys on our side, that's going to be great. I think I have to do unit maintenance just to make me a little extra gold. Although I don't think it's making me that much gold right now, but... Other options, I could do faith again. Instead of production. But our, our production is so bad. I think I gotta go with the production. Okay, we have to switch off you now. And we're gonna go for construction. Because... We need research construction technology here. So I need to get to construction. Build a pasture, that's not gonna happen. Build a water mill, might happen. We'll see. We'll see. Did we over-research this? I don't think so. Right? I think that's... I think we're just on time with that. I almost half want to switch you to a water mill. We purchase a water mill, but... 14 turns. This is 16 turns. I have to get a settler there. I think we switched to the water mill. We do. We can always finish the walls later. But that's going to help us tech up quicker. And we don't want to get stuck because uh, we have military theory. Like, we can get these two techs and we can get this tech, but then we're stuck on that tech. So that's where I'd like to get you boosted sooner rather than later. You're coming back here just for protection. You are going to work on that. Give me a farm. You're going to get in the city. Good, good, good. Could really almost should have waited for Ling. So we could have gotten a little extra stuff. Uh, Here's the other thing. When does our deal run out with you? Settled near them. Decided not to make a promise. You kind of almost like me, though. Can we see when our deals were? Like, I want to see when my deal runs out with him. He's got a lot of oranges. You got a lot of stuff, period. You still want one gold. I'm not giving you that. Ooh, okay. He will pay me now. Uh, let's do 30. Let's do, like, uh, 10. Let's actually start with one. He will give me one. Ah, six, five. So he'll pay me five gold. Can you pay me one gold per turn? No. Is it worth five gold? Probably. Because it means he's not going to declare war on me. At least he'll like me better. That's the whole point. So, all right. Let's go with it. That permanent mo mood neg negative towards you is just so terrible in deity. I'm going to come here real quick and let's just like explore his territory just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yo, fortified. I was like, wait, what are we waiting for? Zulu has missionaries. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll lose loyalty if they start flipping from my religion. That means he's pretty close then. Hmm. That's shocks. 
Now, the temple would be interesting for us because it gives us two apostles, and then that means we don't have to refine our own religion. We could also use them to spread, but... I don't know. I kind of feel as if... I don't know if I want to risk it, I guess. Plus the error score, because we got that. We should also got an error score because... Oh no, we have to build the building first. Do you have encampments up? You're already in some pretty scary looking situations. I have to get a settler. I need to get more cities down at this point or we're gonna fall way behind. Yo, stay away, man. Stay away. Okay, so we did get our holy set up here. So we could rush out a settler here too. Or we could grab a unit just to be a little more safe. We didn't take the boost, though. Because we're on maintenance right now. We will get it next turn. So you know what? Let's do archers. And then next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch production to range units here. Um, we'll probably take the one production off in every city. Another thing is that's going to uh, open you up a little bit. But you need to get up. I think we need to get some housing in these two cities pretty quickly. No hour of life is what we can no more have except one man's magic. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what we want, take away this. Ooh, the holy site adjacency though is the whole reason for this. We're only making eight gold per turn right now. I think we get the granary right here. Oh, interesting. So your garrison defense is 22. Huh, so I just released my video yesterday where it says the minimum was always 30. I wonder if because we're on deity if it actually goes lower than 30. Interesting, I need to go revise my video then. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that actually sucks a lot then. You should be 22, you should be, oh, you're 20 because you don't have the walls yet. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. You're gonna be fine. We need more builders too. See, you're already growing slower. Let's get the house, and then we're going to get a builder here. Monument would be great, but we should be fine in culture now for quite a bit. Um, you're going to get the archer. I think we end up switching the production. <sighs> Question is... I really do want this. We're not making that much gold per turn right now, so I think we roll with that. And I think we then roll Holy Set Adjacency instead of production. We're still making 8 gold. That might actually go down. We'll see here in a second. If so, then that really isn't worth it at all. Are we not paying units? Like, do we not have to actually pay gold for maintenance right now? Hmm. Put you back up there. You are going to... Campus adjacency doesn't matter. Governors plus two loyalty per turn. And one governor tile. Yeah. That's only going to take one turn, so let's go knock you out then. Uh, we can send envoys. We only have one envoy right now. And so I can't get to three. I do want to become Susan in Hong Kong. Because getting 20% production towards city projects is going to be nice. Then we have another trade route. I actually want to take you down to Rio then. And we're going to send it from Rio, hopefully, up there. So maintain his happiness with me because of that. City State died. Got tech boost on engineering. Got a lot of points. We need more amenities. Eh. You. I wish you could get amenities by trade route. Yeah, give me production too. I like that. I like that. So you're up four turns now. You're up three turns. You're going to go sit on this hill for a little bit of extra defensive pressure. And then you're going to knock out recorded history. We're not going to build two campuses, so that'll be fine. We are really close to a golden era, which is nice. Watermill is coming in. So we got nine turns. You're at six turns. We will switch our construction then here. We will have to. And you're at eight. 
Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're not going to lose anything, I don't think. So let's keep continuing. I do need to get another builder, like I said, but that's going to be after the granary. Could do a builder down here, too. I think we work on another settler, though. Even though our population there is so slow. Got another one. Sweet. Suzerain. Sweet. So it gives us actually a little more vision. Okay, so we can actually see some iron and we can see some stuff over there. That's good to note. That's good to note because we can build heavy chariots, which we can upgrade to knights with that one source of iron. So we probably want to go settle down there eventually. I really want to take one of my units to go explore, but I'm concerned. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, we could spend the money and buy all his units and then just go destroy. Eh. I mean, honestly, that is an option. He doesn't have walls yet. Four oh eight. I'm at sixty. It's three archer four archers and two warriors. Can I see what your military strength is? Three twenty. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want it. I just think it's gonna take too long to get my units up there. I think let's keep holding. It would be nice to attack him before walls, but he's gotta be working on walls at this point. No, he's currently working on industrial zone. And an industrial zone. Actually lost open borders. Thirty. Twenty six. That actually might be enough for a settler right away. Yeah, that is. And we can buy it now, and it's going to be slightly cheaper the next turn when we finish producing. Yeah. Yeah. He's rolling around with horsemen, man. We could also just buy it here in Rio again. It's going to really make you suffer. You're going to go size 2, which is going to allow you to grow at a normal rate again. I think that's fine. Let's purchase it here. So you're going to come down, and you're going to settle over here. And then I'm going to take whoever you are, and then probably go down here. I think I'm going to have to settle down here before I end up going over here. Question is, do we want to go right here? Where would we actually go down here? Can't settle right there. I would love to settle right there so we can make sure we get the marble. I might have to go here and then buy to the marble. It's just tundra. So these are just all so terrible, these tiles. I need this iron. One, two, three, four. Selling over here doesn't help me much. But it does give us more amenities. I mean, right here, dude... We get iron, we get silver, we get pearls. Actually, why don't we just settle on the silver? We'll get the iron fairly quickly. We'll get the pearls. We'll be able to get the other silver. We can get the fish, and we can get the crabs. It's going to be a terrible city. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> this is a hill, though. It's just going to be so terrible. But I don't know what other options we have. I think that's what we do. The other options, we come here. And this is going to be an okay city because we can build a bunch of mines. Uh, and then we got a little bit of food here on the fishes. We'd have to buy to the marble. So it might be better to actually go here and then buy it because it'll be a little cheaper that way. We can also get these guys. And then that. Definitely, this is the best city. I think maybe we have to go there first. Um, go give me a shrine. And we actually have enough faith now to purchase someone. Did we lose the merchant? We did. So we can grab uh, a great rider. And he's only 360. So we're going to get most of that back, I would think. We get 20% of the 360 back. So we're going to get uh, a 60, 72 back. 
You can also buy a great merchant right now. Your nearest city annexes this tile into its territory. Is that a one-time use? The other thing is, we're going to get this Great Rider. We're the only one getting Great Rider points right now. And we're making significant amounts of it. We're not making Great Merchant points. I want to look this guy up. Marcus Crassus. Civ 6 Marcus Licious Crassus. I want to see exactly how he's used. Consider the wealthiest man in Rome history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually don't care about his history. How to use him. No, 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 no. Go away. How to use Great Merchant. His ability is to annex the tile into your territory, assign it to your nearest city. If the tile is more than three times away, could this still be work? Could he annex the tile that belongs to another sieve? No. Number two, no. You can't annex it. If the tile is a wonder, does it transfer the wonder? See number two. Could the ability use uh, the capital? No. So you can't annex something that someone else has. I usually keep him for a long time in case there's a really important resource hiding fourth hex. So you could actually make it as a fourth. Maybe. The most precious and valuable merchant. Just use it to occupy non-food food harvestable resource or forest. Here's a screenshot. Allowed me to reach two forests and a deer. It almost looks like you can harvest like multiple tiles out. Meaning I could like harvest here and all of this would belong to me. That's what it looks like. Is that true? I don't know. We probably should go grab the horse. We might actually try grabbing the deer. Cause if that gives us all of this, that would be amazing. We could also put a C here and then go grab that. I don't know. We're about to get that horse. I think we grab him. Hmm. So it's only going to give me one tile then. It only goes one away. So they might have nerfed him or changed it or something. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so now you could go four tiles out with the city. Which is cool. Do we care about any of this over here? I kind of want this one so I can get the science boost. I also wouldn't mind grabbing the horse. One, two, three. That's four tiles out. How the heck did they get there? Call bullcrap on that. Maybe we'll just grab the horse and be done with it. He can grab this tile, though. But we can also just buy it. It's not that bad. Oh, what is your growth? Two turns, and you're going to grow there on the turtle. Maybe he wasn't worth it. We got 119 points. I mean, the thing is, we're going to be able to get this one fairly quickly. So that's where I was kind of like, eh. We could grab the turtles. I mean... I kind of almost want to grab the sheep, to be honest with you, but... One, two, three. We could buy the stone, then. It's just going to be really expensive. I, I, think, I think I'd rather just have the 60 gold at this point. And I think we go for you. So we can get our horses up. Um, and then the 60 gold is going to allow me to get a builder. Which is something we need. So we're going to move you up here to this mountain. Just to help protect it. You're going to come down to there. Sounds good. About to get... You went to three turns. Whoa! Okay, so the production went up a lot. Because we just finished the one. That makes sense. Little intimidated by all this. Still. You fortify. Yeah, a little intimidated by his empire. Okay. Not liking that, man. Definitely not liking that. <laughs> Don't be moving your units towards my city. This might be the end of us.
We actually got a golden age incoming too. Okay, I really don't like this now. Except creates with the heart. We just finished construction. Nice. Uh, except what it looks like is it looks like he's attacking Kumasai, Kumasi. Build two campuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna get that, which is now boosted. Perfect. Perfect. Because water mill just finished. Awesome. So we have to finish the walls up there. Uh, got another city. I think I'm gonna grab the amphitheater. Give us more era score, but that's gonna allow us to use our great rider. Because right now we only have one spot for the great rider. So I think we come down here. I'm gonna have to buy this marble tile. Actually, that might be what we end up using the 60 gold for. Kind of a weak great leader, to be honest. Great person. <sighs> okay, so we finished construction. We might want to straight rush out machinery so we can get crossbowmen, because crossbowmen are going to help me. Especially if we're going to conquer Preslov. I think we need crossbowmen and catapults. I think that's our goal. You sit there for this turn. Hopefully he's not declaring war on me. Zulu, get the freaking heck away, man. Really could use you. If you're quicker. Yeah, we're just going to put you here. And we'll send you down there. That'll be better. I want this city up as quick as possible. I don't really... I don't like that. I should have left him where he was. Oh lord. I heard the dununk and I got really scared. I've lived through some It's a forest, so I'm gonna leave you there. I'm gonna put you back on the hill. Great library got built. Okay, that's fine. Games and recreations boosted, so three turns on that. We do have new policies. Let's see. Campus adjacency, don't give a crap about. Settlers we can switch off of. Production towards builders might not be a bad thing, because I think we might want to start working on builders now. We can unit maintenance. I think we still pop out archers. I think we get archers and builders at this point. I think I have to keep the holy side adjacency right now because we want as much faith as possible. Plus two influence points. Yeah, we don't need that. I think we keep this. So we want a builder up here. You're going amphitheater. And then we probably start popping out units. Such a weak play, but okay. Oh, you got more than one charge. You get three actions. Oh, okay. Dear it is, man. In that case, did that change what we were doing? We could have grabbed this stone then. And we could also grab these dies. I'm going to go back to 80. I'm going to slightly cheat here, and you guys are going to have to deal with it. Reason for that is I should have looked and seen how many the actions he had. So since he actually had three actions, actions, that completely changes how I want to use him. Getting the deer is fine. And rule with horse Shut and up, Sean. Sword. Using the deer is fine, um, but I would much rather go ahead and get those dies that are over there and the stone. I think that's just so much better, um, especially because that's our, our big city right there that we really want to get growing and we want to be defensive and stuff like that. So that's why we're going to slightly cheat here. So do I consider this a reload? I mean, kind of, but not really. I mean, all I'm doing is reloading because I didn't quite know uh, how he worked. So whatever. It's kind of minor. You can also see how long it takes us to reload in. So how are we doing? We're holding on, which is good. Um, we're slightly, I think, falling behind, which is always going to happen on Deity. Uh, the question is, you don't want to fall too far behind that you can never catch back up. I think we're still going to be okay. I think. We'll see. So then, yo, you are going to actually come over here and you're going to grab this tile. You're going to go work that, two, and three. That's my goal. It's going to be a very snaky part. So that's actually 180 gold that you're going to make me. I can dig that. You're going to come back down here. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before. Which is a little scary. We got to stop using points, though. 
Like, we gotta stop getting golden arrow points right now. Someone else built the Great Library, that's fine. History is the Okay, we got our city coming down. You then are gonna come down here. You're over there. You're gonna stay in the forest. You're gonna go right there. And then we want games and recreation. Perfect. Government. We wanted to switch from settlers. Yes. We should know what we did, because we just did it. We did builders, and then we want to keep production and units. Because you're going to start building me some builders, and then I think these two guys are going to start popping out a couple units. And I think we really should look at hard at going at Preslov here in a little bit. The thing is, if I can get enough money, I might just buy his units, and then I'll help us take out Preslov. He does have walls, which is why we need a couple catapults, but um, we don't have any boost on catapults. No. So give me archers, because I need three archers to get the boost for crossbowmen. We might be able to afford upgrading them right away to crossbowmen, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're a builder. Never mind. Ah, builder. Okay, so they went away again, so you're going to go back here. You're going to stay there. I like you there. You are going to find my city. Uh, Gualaharlos? Gualaharlos? Whatever. Something like that. I think we actually grab a builder right away. Because we want to get the horses, we want to get the stone. And we probably want to get the sheep, too. And the bananas. I mean, all that stuff's going to be really good for the city. Uh, as a starting spot, it's okay. We got a couple one twos. What do we want to work on? I think I'd rather work on the production. Grow a little slower? Or 8 turns and 16. I think let's get to size 2. Let's get to size 2. It'll be a four extra turns, so that's fine. Governor title. <sighs> the other thing is we can grab the 30% production and then we can start working on... Government plazas. We actually don't have loyalty issues right now, but that would be nice to knock out. I don't think it's worth it, though, right now. I think we hold on. And the other thing is, we're not trained settlers, so the surplus logic doesn't actually help us. If we had enough money to buy one, yes. I think let's go with what we have right now. We could get 20 extra percent growth in the city, which here's the thing. That would be a nice thing to have. To get an extra 20% growth would be great. But I don't necessarily want to waste it. Let's see. What are we going to do after this? Probably defensive tactics because I think we want to get up to civil service or maybe even feudalism. So that's going to give me another governor title. Are we going to build another settler anytime soon? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we're building another settler anytime soon. So I think let's grab the growth then. Because we want this city to be as large as possible. Because remember, we're trying to compete against this. That's why I also don't want Kumasi, Kumasai to fall. So, all right, I've convinced myself. Give me growth. I know we're not actually making any trade routes with you. And do some hatcheries to get a lot of food right here. That would help our growth. We need builders for it. This isn't a bad idea, though. We are a bit food starved over here. Fishery can be built on city or coastal plots. Yields plus one food, plus one food if adjacent to a sea resource. So these would be three food, three food. They don't give you plus food. And then a little extra money. What are you currently working? Science, definitely. And then we need a mine here, too. I kind of like that, actually. But here's the thing. Surplus logic, he's getting 20% food. Okay, so this was going to account for six food. And that's going to almost double your food. 20% over here, we're making 20 food per turn. 20% uh, of that would be, 10% uh, would be 2. Um, 
So four food. So Magnus doesn't actually give us as much food then. Now long term Magnus is probably going to give us more food. I think we actually go with agriculture. And we want to start building some stuff out. And I think our goal is to be by another builder. So we need to get to 245. The question is, do we have any extra amenities? We have two. Can we afford to get rid of one? Five of two. Two of zero. Two of zero. Three of two. We can get rid of one of our amenities. You already have marble and foxes, so you won't accept either. You had a ton. You will give us 82 gold, though. You only have 8 gold. You're only making 17 gold per turn, which is kind of bad. I think we can actually become friends with this guy. So he would pay me 8... 16 he'd pay me 240 gold for this one i think we wait i think we want to get his gold as high as possible he's making 63 gold per turn right right yeah because it's 30 turns so he'd pay me upwards of 200 gold for that i think that's what we do is he at war with someone right now no so i think we're good there okay so let's wrap this episode up here no, I want to do one more turn because I want to use his ability. Fortify. I want to use his ability. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. You're died. People That's great. I'm so happy he keeps using all his units. And then you're going to go grab that, and you're going to go grab that. And I'm going to be happy. Oh, yeah, that's giving us a ton of gold, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of builders here. What did we just finish? Games and Recreation. Gives us plus one housing. And I don't care about any of that stuff. So we're not going to actually switch any of this. We still want Holy Site. We still want Builders. And we're still producing units. Builders. Shrine. We need units. That's the one thing we're not producing right now. You need a granary because you need to keep growing because your housing is bad. Yeah. And I want you to get as big as possible. Then let's do military training just to knock that out. Build an encampment. We don't need to finish this, so we could start this. And the thing is, we probably will actually build an encampment at some point. Oh, snap. We got our great writer. Sweet. How much faith do we have? 372, so we can actually then purchase another great writer here pretty quick. We might just start banking them for the time being. The other option... I really want great scientists, but man, they're expensive. Yeah... Wow, so we're halfway. So we go to 16. Man, we're going to get a lot of these guys really quickly. So we need to get more amphitheaters up, too. I can't build another district here. Only a plus one theater square over here. We might actually just want the theater squares. I don't care if they don't have a boost. Only because we need... I could do a theater square here and I could do a campus here. And they're both be plus two. Uh, but we just might want the extra uh, stuff just so we have extra space uh, for our great works. He is as the fall of a thunderbolt. I gotta wrap this episode up. <laughs> I'm having too much fun right now, dang it. Plus three. Well, here's the thing. We definitely wanted a campus in here. Plus six. So that means we can also get a good holy site. Plus six. I think we have to go Holy Site first. I think we put the Holy Site right up here. I think the campus goes here and it's get a plus two. But then where's my theater square going to go? Plus three. Okay. Okay. If we did the theater square here, one, two. It's only going to be a plus two. If then we end up putting a campus here. Campus here is getting plus six. Yeah, we have to do the campus, and we can just put the theater square here. Whatever. It'll be okay. Because once again, we don't need... Our culture per turn should probably be fine right now. 22, 26, 
32. Eh, we're starting to fall behind a little bit. It's not terrible, though. We don't even have the amphitheater yet. So the amphitheater is going to give me another plus two. Tech-wise, we're actually making more tech than some of these guys. Oh, Zulu's way up there, though. 58, man. How many cities did you get? Yeah, we're getting schooled now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he has seven cities. One, two, three, four, five. We're about to have six. So then, we really need to get an early campus up over here then. Probably, just so we can stay up in tech. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just keep going theater squares first. Or, I mean, holy sites are the other thing. But, all right, I'm going to figure this out in between episodes. For now, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.